when, when you think about the wild and out, the time when you guys started in that, what? How did you end up on there anyway? Man, I just did it the old fashioned way. I was sitting at the crib one day, and my girl at the time was like, "They supposed to be having some kind of audition," but I hadn't heard it about it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. When, when you think about the wild and out, the time when you guys started in that, what? how did you end up on there anyway? Man, I just did it the old-fashioned way. I was sitting at the crib one day, and my girl at the time was like, they supposed to be having some kind of audition, but I hadn't heard shit about it. And I was like, yeah, well, you know how that be. I ain't going up there just to be. That's what we thought. She's like, you probably should just go and see. And I was like, I called the club and they was like, we supposed to do something, but hell, ain't nobody up here. So I got there and then they were actually doing like some auditions and the little dude was such a oh, He was like, mm, it was a close audition. They not add nobody. If you're not already on the list, you're not getting on the list. And I just kept like, every time he came around, he was like, you're not on the list. And I was like, you're not on the list. I'm like, you're still gonna go. Still gonna go. So I was just like, I was like, I'm... I'm gonna get on this shit. Cause I know this is my club. This ain't my city. I'm, I'm gonna get in it. Yeah. So I went in there. Like by the like somebody didn't show up and he was just like, fine, you can go. Just <laughs> stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> but when like anybody know about audition, it's a time where it's like like it's a time slot where they got like the real people who can put you on the show and then like they'll go on a break mm -hmm. and then they'll just put some money in there who will just be like holding the spot. So you don't want that dead spot. Mm -hmm. So the people left. But I actually did my audition for Nick. So, I, like, everybody, a lot of them people had to just audition for just the producer. Yeah, but right. my, my audition slot fell, like, at the, that little perfect. hour that he was going to be there. Yeah. So I auditioned for him. And you guys just hit he, it like, off? While he was there in town, like, I guess he said a lot of people had been telling him about my stand-up comedy. Yeah. So he was, everybody was like, you got to, don't leave till you see him. So I did this shit, and he was like, they are was dope, so I ain't think shit of it. Got the call back. How long did it take to get the call back? It was a couple months. I thought Dang. I wanted to go that day. Yeah. I was ready yeah. that day. It was it was a little, maybe about a month or two, maybe. Some, yeah, somewhere. In, I'd have been like they forgot about me. No, nah, I was I was like you know it was just some shot in the dark type. Shit. So they called me on my I was on my way to to do some shows that weekend, and they called me told me I got a call back. Went to that call back. Shit. Did it like the actual game from the show and then the rest is history like you like to say the rest so is yeah history, I went through man. I went through the whole audition process where I had to sign up audition call back audition mm. then get the call and then be on the show but then like even being on the show was still like like that first season it felt like any f up was like ah shit. yeah, yeah. This, I'm gonna yeah. go I don't know if you saw the video of you getting knocked out but it was this face that you made on the way down. <laughs> it was just felt like yeah. some survival time. Because I was just seeing how many motherfuckers was, was like, they sent him home that like was American was Idol. Little, man. You know? <laughs> it wasn't no, it that wasn't that no long curve. And he was like, wow. that first season, like, go out there. <laughs> go out there. Go, if you watch season five, bro, ain't no whole lot of buses on that. Because yeah. everybody was coming out with they shit. Oh. It's not mm -hmm. trying to go home, nigga. That coming with it but that's the funniest part about this shit, though because you'll see all these people who audition and all they fans would be like oh you need to be on well and out you be great on that you need to be on well and out man them all get on there and them and they turn around and look at them cameras and feel that heat from them lights them motherfuckers can't do nothing yeah i've yeah. seen people completely they free, free freeze up. Up. hell yeah wow. i'm talking about like stuttering sputtering i don't see that in here yeah Get, they say they want to do it until you get them in. <laughs> These be some people that ain't never really done it. It's a big deal when you start thinking, damn, I'm going to answer some questions. It be crazy, bro. Man, people get No, but people, they say that we made them feel comfortable because they realize it's not just uh, I'm having a pad with some questions. It's just a conversation. Nah, so no. a lot of times, especially when you have on the headphones, you sort of forget about everything else that's going around. Right. We draw you into the conversation. So they forget about the cameras. They forget about everything. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.